Okay, you asked for it, and here it is, our new Video Game Design 4.0 release. New sign-in? Why? Because now we track the student progress for you and keep them where they need to be. Now the students won't be able to move ahead unless they've completed the key activities in the experience. You'll see more about this later. Here you see two options, an intern orientation or continue the curriculum. We'll go ahead and continue on into the curriculum. Notice the two projects. Let's go into Project 1, Carbonade. As you can see, the experience looks fresh and new, a new storyline with more characters and interactions to keep the story lively and up to date. Brighter colors, more dynamic interface help to connect with your digital generation learner. Notice how the tracking is already working for you. For example, on this page, the student cannot move to the next page unless they have read the sidebar, read the document, and having done so, the continue button turns from light gray to dark gray, letting the student know that they can move forward. This will make managing your students easier. This was a number one asked for new feature, and here it is. A new Ethics in the Workplace activity allows the learner to earn a certificate in workplace ethics. This helps you show that you are working to meet all the 21st century skills and standards in your class. The smartphone replaces the PDA. But notice how the smartphone has a more of a look and feel of the iPhone or Droid phones your students all want. See how this new smartphone was built with apps that open up even more channels to help your students learn. Wiki words, new words at every turn in the curriculum to feed the learner with the vocabulary of career and technology. A mobile game app. We will reward your student when they've completed their certifications with a casual game to give them a break before they go on to build the product for the customer. They'll get voice messages, text messages, video messages, and they'll have the to-do list to help them keep on track. Because your students are truly digital natives, we need to give them ways to customize and personalize their experience. So see how simple it is for your student to skin the phone to fit their own taste. Now they own the phone and this device we use to make them feel even more connected to this real-world experience, this real-world career experience. In making the experience more personal, notice how their ID card has their name on it. Notice how the emails now are sent to them. Many of our educators told us they're starting to use electronic portfolios with their students to cut down on paper and to make it easier to review student work. So we have made all our documents electronic and editable PDFs. Your students can simply open the document, add their notes or comments, and then save the document to wherever you want them to store their work. It's that simple. The new version of the library, what we call the MySL, really feels more to the student like their own personal iGoogle style page. Notice a calendar and clock because in the real world, time does matter. Easy to access all the electronic documents inside the experience. Bookmarks to safe resources on the internet, including websites, day in the lives of game industry people, and tips on customizing your game. Fast reference to any of the tutorial videos so the students can get the technical help they need as they progress through their project work. Access to their realistic email system showing them only the email they've seen today so as not to give away any of the plot twists of the story to keep them engaged, but giving the student easy access to their emails and all the attachments. Here you see a video message inviting the student to begin their certification. Inside the certifications, the look, content, and feel have all been updated along with some other enhancements. The training logs are now editable to make it easy to be part of an electronic portfolio. And the new quiz engine randomizes the questions and is a mastery style system. If the student is not going to get at least 80% on the quiz, the quiz will drop them out, start a two-minute timer. And with the new tracking in place, the student cannot move to the next phase until they've passed the quiz. 
Our new teacher support site replaces the old teacher resource CD, allowing us to keep updating and adding and refreshing the teacher support materials and videos. This also gives us a place where our educators can come together, share ideas, and best practices. There are two desktop versions of our new Video Game Design 4.0. We have one version for those of you who already are using Dark Basic Classic, the original game engine, and who want to stay with the old engine. For those of you ready to upgrade and use the new Dark Basic Pro game engine, which also will allow your students to download that game engine and use it at home for free, then our Video Game Design 4.0 Pro version is for you. We also have a new online version available which includes an online course management system as well as an online certificate system. This is a completely scalable model that's offered to you as well and allows you to purchase per student use licenses when you need as you need. If you want to learn more about the online version then give us a call. We appreciate all the help our educators have given us over the years with their ideas and feedback. We listen to the wishes of those we serve and it's your feedback, both good and bad, that help us grow and give you what you need to reach your students. From all of our Imagineer team here at iSupport Learning, we thank you. If you have any questions or need any update, quote, or other information, please contact us at 877-828-1216 or go to our website at isupportlearning.com. Thank you.